Hello, and welcome to another exciting season of Beck's Bench. I'm Beck Taylor. Well, the Bulldogs are back, students are moved in, and classes are underway here on campus. We're certainly looking forward to another exciting fall semester. And this, this right here, is the National Championship Trophy for the top novice debaters in the country. It's presented by the American Debate Association, and you guessed it, it belongs to two Sanford students, Grace Blackwell and Abby McKibben, adding to Sanford's long list of national accomplishments in debate. Abby, Grace, welcome to Beck's Bench. Wow, look at this trophy. This is amazing. I've never won a trophy like this. You must be so proud. Um, you're rising juniors. Last year was your first time to debate at Sanford or anywhere, I think. Did you expect so much success in year one? When I initially joined debate, um, you know, I just fell in love with it. Um, I'm, I'm so thankful, I give glory to God, that we have, you know, our teammates and coaches, we're all so close and everyone is so talented. So I think that it made the process of really improving throughout the season to get to the point where we are with that tournament, um, it really made that possible. I think that everyone, as far as the teammates and our coaches, played a really critical role in our win. And um, I just can't thank them and I can't thank God enough for it. Oh, that's fantastic. Abby, if we're watching a debate turn tournament, it just looks like a bunch of arguing going back and forth, but it's so much more thoughtful, methodical. You prepare in so many amazing ways. Give us a little sense of that. Yes, it's methodical down to the minute. So there's a total of eight speeches each um, teammate. Uh, gives two, a uh, one nine minute one, one six minute one. There's cross examinations, and each ten, uh, team has a total of 10 minutes of preparation time or prep time. We like to <laughs> in debate. Um, so it's very methodical, and 95% of the debate actually happens before the debate starts, and because you have 10 minutes of prep time. Grace, you're doing all this research, preparing for these fast debates. My guess is you want to share a lot of information very quickly, so you have yes. to speak very fast. I do. Can you give us a sense of how fast you have to speak? I can. Um, I can speak 350 to 400 words per minute. I actually did a project on it last year for Dr. Elsner for Sports Psych. Um, I know it might seem that what I'm saying is unintelligible, but what people have to keep in mind is that our opponents actually do have a copy of what I'm reading, so they have the ability to follow along with the speed, which is super helpful in round. So. Massive shipping consolidation and lack of lake regulatory oversight hold the supply chain hostage contributing to supply chain turtle starts from 1-4. Massive container shipping consolidation backed up for miles addressing the crisis made difficult for decades old of deregulation addressing the crisis made it difficult for decades old deregulation and a few powerful global entities are making billions from its dysfunction 3 alliances control 83% of the global shipping market and 95% of the east-west trade lanes carriers retain um, it, their antitrust immunity larger ships now read as a monopolistic tool for a force of the industry to operate on their terms both the White House and the bipartisan collateral of the lawmakers see regulation as the best path. Wow. <laughs> yes, you know, it took me a, a second or two to kind of catch your rhythm and cadence, but I was able to understand what you were right. saying. That is clarity, amazing. we do speaking drills yeah. every single day uh -huh. for at least 15 minutes. Yes. And I think clarity is a huge part of that. You know, it's not just speed. You also have to be clear so that the judges and your opponents can understand what you're saying. Or else, you know, the point and the thesis just gets lost yeah. at the end. Amazing, amazing. Well, I know it's not antitrust policy, but I thought it would be fun to end our segment with a little bit of a debate. So here's the question. Where's the best place to take a selfie? With Mr. Beeson or on Ben Brown Plaza? Go. Ben Brown Mr. Plaza. Beeson. What? Mr. Beeson. There's no way. No, don't argue with me. Ben Brown Plaza, there's no way. He's so photogenic though. Like, yeah, but you can take a picture in I don't think we're gonna get to the end of this question like, today. Yeah. We're so proud of Grace and Abby and the way they represent no Sanford. Way. This national yeah, championship. What an accomplishment. Okay, Thank you for watching Beck's Bench. Until next just, time, I'm Beck Taylor. And of course, go Bulldogs. Ben Brown Plaza. Beeson statue. Ben Brown Plaza. Beeson statue. Ben Brown Plaza.